Immaculate Mother, do you do me plead? Bless God our Father for helping our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. Ave Maria, we pray for our country, the land of our birth. We pray for our nations, that peace be on earth. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be hindered. I have dealt with great things and I do not understand things too wonderful for me which I cannot know. I had heard of you by words of mouth but now my eyes have seen you. Therefore, I disown what I have said and repent in dust and ashes. Thus the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his earlier ones, for he has 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, and 1,000 of yoke of oxen, and 1,000 of she asses, and he had sons and three daughters, to of whom he called the first Jemima, and the second Kisha, and the third Karen Hapu. In all the land, no other women can be beautiful as the daughter of Job, and that father gave them an inheritance along with his brother. After this, Job lived a hundred and forty. in that in the land of women were beautiful and the daughter of Job and their father gave them inheritance along with their brothers after this Job lived 140 years and he saw his children his grandchildren and even his great grandchildren then Job died old and full of years the word of the lord 
Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine upon me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for of your command I trust. Lord, let your face shine on me. It is good for me that I have been afflicted and that I may learn your statutes. Lord, let your face shine on me. I know, Lord, that your ordinances are just and your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Lord, let your face shine on me. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. Lord, let your face shine on me. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may know your decrees. Lord, let your face shine on me. The revelation of the word shed light, giving understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on me. Please all stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The 72 disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed seat and fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise, and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning and welcome to the Minor Basilica and National Shrine of Jesus Nazareno. And Saturday, for Saturday, we offer this Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Also, every 9 a.m. of Saturday, we offer this Mass as Pilgrim's Mass. And so, pinapanalangin natin sa natatanging paraan 
Ino-offer natin itong misang ito, especially doon sa mga naglakbay pa mula sa iba't ibang lugar para makadalo at makabisita dito sa Kiapo Church. Ano ba yung dahilan kung bakit tayo nagagalak? Magandang tanong ngayong umaga. Ano ba yung dahilan kung bakit ako nagagalak? Sa ating unang pagbasa, we have heard the last part of the book of Job. And after a long while, sa dinami-dami ng kanyang naranasan, namatay ang kanyang anak, nawala ng kanyang ari-arihan, sinumpa niya ang araw na siya'y pinanganak, nawala na siya halos ng pag-asa, pero hindi ito nagtapos sa trahedya. Dahil narinig natin in the first reading, Job ended rejoicing. And he rejoiced not only because God returned everything that was lost from him, pero dahil nagalak siya, dahil pinagpala siya ng Diyos at dahil naging mabuti ang Diyos para sa Kanya. And one of the things that we can learn from the life of Job is that good things happen to those who wait. And as we wait, we are encouraged to wait in faith and in patience. Sabi nga, di ba? Everything will be alright in the end. If it is not alright, it is not the end. Ibig sabihin, ano, sa dinami-dami naman ang nararanasan natin sa buhay, sa katapusan, magiging okay din ang lahat. Dahil kung hindi pa okay, ibig sabihin, hindi pa ito ang katapusan. At sana, sa huli, maging katulad tayo ni Job, na hindi nawala ng pananampalataya at pag-asa, at sa huli, na-realize niya, napatunayan niya na naroroon ang Diyos. Kaya siya ay nagagalak. At sa ating Ebanghelyo, we have heard the praise or the hymn of joy na sinabi ng ating Panginoon. Ito yung awit ng kagalakan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. At saan nagmumula yung kagalakan ng ating Panginoon sa mga sandaling ito? Nagmumula ang kanyang kagalakan doon sa katotohanan na yung maliliit, yung mga hamak ang nakarinig at natuto sa salita ng Diyos. Mga kapatid, sa yugtong ito ng buhay ng ating Panginoon at nung kanyang mga alagad, they went on a mission at katulad ng ating Panginoon, binigyan din sila ng biyaya na makapagpagaling, makapagpalayas ng mga demonyo. At bumalik itong mga apostol niya. Bumalik itong mga alagad niya na tuwang-tuwa. Tuwang-tuwa sila dahil nakikinig sa kanila yung demonyo sa ngala ng ating Panginoon. Tuwang-tuwa sila dahil napapalayas sila yung demonyo sa pamamagitan ng pangalan ng ating Panginoon. Pero ano yung sinabi sa kanila ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo? Magalak kayo hindi dahil napapalayas nyo ang demonyo, magalak kayo dahil nakasulat ang inyong pangalan sa kalangitan. Mga kapatid, this reminds us and invites us to reflect on the things that gives us joy. At kung tatanungin natin yung sarili natin ngayon, ano nga ba yung nagbibigay sa atin ng kagalakan? Ano nga ba yung nagbibigay sa atin ng kasiyahan? Sana tama yung mga bagay na nagbibigay sa atin ng kasiyahan. Siguro kung yung bata, yung tatanungin natin, ang masasabi ng bata na nagbibigay sa kanya ng kagalakan ay makapaglaro o di kaya naman makasama yung kanyang mga magulang. Kung yung mga Matatanda naman siguro yung mga may edad, siguro yung tatanungin natin. Malamang ang magbibigay sa kanila ng kasiyahan ay yung makapagpahinga na lamang sa bahay at walang isipin. Siguro yung, kung yung mga nagtatrabaho ngayon, yung tatanungin natin, iba-iba siguro yung magiging sagot na maririnig natin. Yung iba ang nakakapagbigay ng kagalakan ay kayamanan. Yung iba naman, yung nakakapagbigay ng kagalakan ay yung mga material na bagay. Yung iba, nakakapagbigay ng kagalakan siguro day off. Yung iba naman, ang mga kapagbigay ng kagalakan ay love life. Pero ultimately speaking, 
ang nakakapagbigay sana sa atin ng tunay na kagalakan ay walang iba kundi ang makapiling at maranasan ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Ngayon ding araw, pinaparangalan natin ang mahal na Birhing Maria. And it brings us to the moment when Gabriel the Archangel greeted him, Blessed are you. At ano yung naging sagot ng ating mahal na Birhing Maria? My heart rejoices in the Lord. Nagalak ang ating mahal na Birhing Maria hindi dahil siya ang pinili ng ating Panginoon, pero dahil siya ay kinalugdan ng ating Panginoon sa kabila ng kanyang pagiging common, sa kabila ng kanyang pagiging nobody ng ating mahal na Birhing Maria. And so, as we reflect in our life kung ano ba ang nakakapagbigay sa atin ng kaligayahan, may it bring us to the real reason for rejoicing. At sana, ang tunay na makapagbigay sa atin ng kagalakan ay hindi ang kahit na anong bagay na material dito sa mundo. Hindi yung mga bagay na lumilipas. Hindi yung mga bagay na panandilian. Sana, ang nagbibigay sa atin ng kaligayahan, katulad ng ipinapaalala sa atin ng ating mga pagbasa ngayon, ang tunay na makapagbigay sana sa atin ng kaligayahan ay yung mga bagay na hindi lumilipas, yung mga bagay na nanatili. Walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoon. Walang iba kundi ang ating Diyos. Dahil katulad ng mga apostol sa ating Ibanghelyo, sinasabi sa atin ng ating Panginoon, Rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Amen. Please all stand. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God who shows such love for small and humble people. We bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. For every petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church and its leaders may not seek to impress the world with outward splendor, empowered by reach out to all us humble servants. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those in power may not rely on force or weapons, but that they may use their position for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The children may get to know God by our teachings and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those burdened by the trials of life, the poor, the sick, and the handicapped, may experience God's love and care through us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That all those who have died may enjoy everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of heaven and earth, make us wise with your wisdom and help us to follow you in the humble way you have shown us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. As we offer this bread, and as we bring you this wine, bless them, Lord Jesus, with us now, give us life. Send us your Spirit, the source of our lives. And together we will serve you with love. And together. 
together we will serve you with Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Perceive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people for the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request may be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of peace. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as, as it, it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead, lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, Paul. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Para sa lahat ng tatanggap ng banal na komunyon, sasugot po tayo ng amen, pagkasabi ng pare o ng lay minister ng katawan ni Kristo at isubo agad sa bibig bago umalis sa harapan ng pare o lay minister, sumunod po tayo. Stars, 
my soul seeks your eyes soon as it shimmers your smile in the night beams fall into flight I long to be your child your song to feel this dark night light for the lost in this lonely exile I need to hear your word to be near you in this hard word one little sound is a song if it's source in your heart I feel your world with love who says shall wane from the skies and as they scatter gather the flowers he shall wane in our lives as long as your his child, his song shall fill your dark night light when you're lost in this lonely exile. I, we need to hear your word. Would you plead to heal his hard word? Your Little thorns is a rose if it grows in his heart. As long as you believe, roses shall rain from the sky. Mga paalala sa mga nagsisimba, pagkatapos ng misa, uwiwisikan po ang lahat ng banal na tubig. Pinakikiusapan ang lahat na manatili lamang muna sa inyong mga lugar. Tanging sa Quezon Boulevard o sa Plaza San Juan lamang ang labasan ng lahat. Sumunod po tayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw at pagsisimba sa Basilica Minor at pambansang dambana ni Jesus Nazareno. Please all stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed are you, O God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have given us your only Son to be our way to you. Make us follow him generously, faithfully, and lovingly. Merciful Jesus of Nazareth, we have revealed God's grace and unconditional love for us at the cross. You set our your church in this world from which the true light would shine for all to see. 
grant that we who enter this holy shrine may walk in your ways as disciples of justice, peace, mercy, and hope. We offer our prayers for the sick, the oppressed, the youth, and those in need most of your mercy. Hear our humble petitions. Bless these religious articles that we may be fervent in prayer and charity. As we continue our journey as your pilgrim people here on earth, may we set our hearts on the road to heaven, our true home and reward, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Padre Jesus, Nazareno, sinasamba pa namin. Pinipinto pa namin, para mo ang aming buhay at tasan. Padre Jesus, Sa dino, iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus mo na matayan ay sa gisag ng aming kalitasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus, Nazareno, Pinarangal pa kami Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Inuwan natin pa kami Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Pinarangal Panami, nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, ibang walhati na 